it's just it's something you you can't get anywhere else a hunting trip is unlike any other Well, Saturday before the hog hunt, early in the morning, we made it to the farm in the 14 degree weather. It's not enjoyable, it's not even fun. Um, it's miserable. This is probably one of the most crucial days there is. It's the day that we prep. We've learned from last year. Last year we were I wouldn't say ill-prepared, but not as prepared as we should have been. My AR-15 was not sighted in properly. The result of my hog hunt was I missed a pig. I overshot it, and it was it was rough. So this year, we're not taking the 5.56. We're taking the 6.5 Grendel, and we're sticking to one ammo throughout the whole whole entire process, and that is Hornady. Online, everywhere, says that the SST is prime because of the way it impacts, the way it fragments less, the way it just duds out when it hits an animal. It's ballistic tipped. And it's a mean fighting machine. To start our process, we are going to be here at 50 yards. We're going to shoot and see how on we are. And once we shoot at 50, we're gonna to move to 100, make sure we're zeroed correctly, and we're gonna call it. So the idea is to zero at 50, and that should put me approximately one inch or so high at 100, and probably dead on at 200. That's the max we'll be shooting out here in South Carolina. So this should give me what I need. All right, let's shoot a group of three. It's a little low. It's a little left too. I'm done. This one, my first, that first group. And that was my second group. I think it's fine if we don't get knocked off this time. Right? Huh? except for one generator and that's being used to uh, basically power a camper overnight um, so we'll need to find some way to charge our drones and our camera batteries so that we can continue to film for four days so what I, what I did to really prepare for this trip is it's, it's gonna be freezing it's gonna be raining the whole time so 
so I've tried to pack as much warm clothes and I guess dry rich clothes as I can. Um, I've packed tons of rain gear uh, and I've packed multiple pairs of socks and clothes to transition from hunting um, to get more comfortable when we settle down. I've tried to dress as warm as possible. I've bring tons of Carhartt gear. Um, just, just trying to pack as light as I can while really hitting what we really need to stay warm and stay comfortable out in the woods. Um, I'm bringing two rifles. I'm bringing the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 6.5 Grendel. And then I'm also bringing my uh, Glock just to carry them on my side. Um, but like I said before, we're trying to pack light in terms of actually bringing stuff. Um, I'm bring, we're both sleeping on cots, and we're both we both have sleeping bags, and we're gonna pack some extra blankets. Um, we're bringing a cooler full of food, but other than that, that's pretty much it for what we're taking. So um, it basically sums it all up. is currently still broken we're on our way back now we we, we have some things we, we need to do this afternoon we, we're pretty much packed um, things is in is get the four-wheeler we can't get that was our biggest thing and we're not even gonna be able to do that this afternoon so yeah that's kind of where we're at right now um, in the meantime though tonight we are going to go to the grocery store Fill up our tanks with gas. Fifty-seven, and probably that's probably about it in terms of what we're doing this afternoon and peaking and sleep. So um, that's your afternoon update from C Dot Enterprises. We're about ready, David. Ready to go. I think we're about packed up. We talked to some people that have already down there, and uh, they said it's going to be super cold, and it's just water everywhere. And I mean, it's not warm up here. It's probably like 35 degrees right now, and uh, we just got done packing. It's about 11 o'clock, so uh, feeling optimistic, even though everything's been pulling us down. We're not taking the four wheeler. Um, couldn't get it fixed and I mean that's just a reality and you just got to take it blow by blow and move on I mean we get to do this once a year so we're not gonna let it ruin us Good. Uh, Winter weather advisory for our travels. Three hours and 28 minutes away from our hunting destination down in South Carolina. We're going to a place. It's kind of close to Myrtle Beach. Um, it's private land. So, uh, yeah. Is there a drive through? Yeah. Is there? I don't know. Um, alright, I think I'm ready. 
Okay, go ahead. Uh, can I have a two pack of cinnamon raisin biscuits as well as a um, a large thing of uh, tater tot thing? Hash browns. Yeah, hash browns. Two cinnamon and large hash browns. Yep. Three ninety five. Please call around. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Well, you may have heard that we have a chance for some snow in the south, and in fact, it's uh, pretty much a likelihood at this point. Uh, this is Winter Storm Nash, south of Atlanta. Let's focus in on the snow. It spreads through Middle Tennessee through the mid to late afternoon, then it moves over into North Carolina, parts of northern South Carolina as it crosses the Smoky Mountains. And it looks like eastern North Carolina will likely get the most snow out of the system. Now, you Is it raining? No, man. Where you want? We figured it'd be easier if y'all went right here. When? You know, just park right here because you're going to put your tent right there. Is the park right there? Yeah, it'll be easy. Pull back right there and then over. Or pull right there. However you want to do it. Your mm -hmm. truck. Pull back right there. Pouring down rain. Slightly. Slightly pouring down rain. Slightly miserable. Our tent is full of water right now. We're putting tarps down on the floor because we just can't get all the water out that's in there. Hunter. Hmm. Thoughts, opinions. Absolutely miserable right now. Like, legitimately miserable. We're the only people with a tent, but at least we still get the opportunity to be out here. And most importantly, they can sleep in the camper all they want. But we both know we're getting like six hogs tonight. They probably won't get any. So, there's ups and every down. I think it's alright to keep these things still frozen. Good. Good club. So, some of you may wonder why we were at Walmart after we went to Walmart last night. After we've done been down here. Because Hunter, I told him repeatedly to get the chairs for the blonde, and he just refused to listen to me. So now we have to buy chairs. That's not what happened. We just forgot them. We just forgot them. No, Hunter forgot them. We're gonna pick up some ball, just chairs and <laughs> as he says with a massive sub in his hand. <laughs> and this sub. According to Tim Cook, it's five three twenty-five. Um the good Lord has blessed us with light rain at the moment. It was downpouring, now it's 
lightly downpouring. Hunter and I just got our tent up. Um, we've they've set everything up. We're ready to go. It's just a waiting game now, really. Um, we'll... Bro, this ain't happening again. We're gonna lay them down tonight. One, two, three. 